Welcome to another video on smart architectural programming. My name is Mohammed, and coding alongside me is George. And today we'll go over different ways to print things visually beautiful in, uh, in Python. I'll let you take over, Mohammed. So, building up on what George mentioned, uh, the topic uh, today that we're going to focus on is pretty printing dictionaries in Python. And the reason this topic, uh, we're creating a video on this topic in particular, is because uh, there seems to be a lot of uh, attention uh, of programmers on how to do that. And this video is a way we can resolve that inquiry. Uh, in particular, like with every one of our videos, you'll notice that uh, we use three examples or three different ways to do the same uh, the, the concept that we're trying to explain. We use three different coded examples to uh, show you how you can do the same thing in three different ways. And uh, that is going to be the, uh, the case in this video as well. Uh, so the reason we do that is because one is probably the most straightforward way among those three methods, the most easiest way you can get uh, get to that solution. But at the same time, uh, it is very rigid and it doesn't offer much flexibility uh, for you to uh, for you to, you know, uh, switch things uh, or micro uh, change things according to your requirements. Um, then we have a method that offers a little more fail safes and, and uh, become, uh, offers a little more defensive properties. But at the same time, it's also not flexible. And then we offer you the last method, which is probably more complicated, but it clear, you know, provides you with more flexibility on doing that same task. In this case, for pretty printing, uh, there's another reason why you need to uh, know how to uh, use three different methods. Because in pretty printing, uh, it, it's more so of a uh, perceptual or you could say personal thing, right? How do you want, how do you think that the output on the console looks clear or beautiful or you might have certain requirements uh, to make it more visually clear under the organizations uh, within which you're working requirements or you might have your own idea on how a dictionary might look uh, visually clear uh, when you are printing it on the, on the console so with the most easiest method which is going to be the first uh, piece of code that you're seeing on our screen uh, you don't get uh, you don't get offered that flexibility to switch between the formats. Same case for the second one, um, but for the third method, you can do that. This, let's move forward to our uh, code base. So the first example on my screen, if you can see, uh, within that we import we use the pretty uh, pprint from the we import pprint method from the pprint library. So we, this is the most straightforward method through which you can do pretty printing. Then we have a dictionary. And in this case, to clarify exactly uh, what the pprint module module does, we created a list of two dictionaries, basically. So within that, uh, then we use the preprint method to print uh, print the my dict that we have a variable that we saved above, and we declare that the indent needs to be four spaces. So when we run this uh, code, you'll find that the 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 dictionary has been printed in, in a, a pprint panel but to an extent the limitation of this module is that while it looks re relatively much clearer than what it looks on our screen with like two dictionaries on the same line but the thing is it doesn't exemplify or you know make the dictionary any less of a uh, convoluted mess as we can see one individual dictionary on our screen so the preprint module, while the most straightforward, most easy method, is also something that doesn't provide us much uh, clarity or, or you know as much clarity as as we would like. So for to do that, uh, we move on to the next way we can do that using the JSON library. So basically, in this one, not only would you learn how to uh, do pretty printing, but you'll also learn how to convert any variable into JSONs, and that's where that's a fairly important concept that we'll not go too much in details about. But simil, uh, quite simply, JSON is the preferred method of communicating data across the internet. So, keeping that in mind, a lot of you might want to have a clearer picture or clear visually clearer output of a JSON dictionary. So we import. Uh, to do that, we import uh, the JSON library. We create a variable with our dictionary. 
then we you uh, within a, a new variable called uh, pre, uh, the, on line 6 we use the json dot dumps method uh, to convert our dictionary into a uh, into a json and pretty printer we use the indent equals to 4 to ma- uh, make it more clear as well and then we print this uh, uh, print this uh, new variables data on line 7 so if we run this file you'll find out this is now this is much more clear visually speaking it provides much more clarity of this dictionary it breaks it down in a way that we can just take a look at it and we're clear uh, what's what and that is one way you can do pretty printing of a dictionary because json uh, the structure of json also provides much more visual clarity for a dictionary when you're viewing it on the console so that is the second way you can do pretty printing of a dictionary in python now we'll move on to the last uh, method that we're going to discuss and that is the creation of a custom function that uh, does the pretty printing now this is a very very powerful expression of uh, what you could do in python is uh, in most places but particularly in this uh, uh, pretty printing case as well is that you can define exactly how this uh, dictionary would look much clearer and pretty to you basically and that might be the like there might be certain formats that an organization requires you to do pretty printing it defines as a pretty print so you might want to create a custom function to uh, fulfill the organizational pretty printing requirements or you might think that this is a you might have a certain way to depict it that might be more clearer to for you so that's where custom functions came uh, come in they're more complicated they have more lines of code but it helps you uh, pretty much uh you know uh, it helps you pretty much uh, make it much more uh, visually appealing to yourself and micromanage exactly how it would look on the console so if you look at uh, uh, this uh, custom function defined on the first line uh, on, on the on the screen uh, you'll find uh, that uh, basically we define a custom function called pretty print uh, pretty print that takes a dictionary as an input inside that function we have a loop that uh, on line 2 which it it's over the key value pairs of the dictionary for each key value pair uh, the function prints the key and value in a specific format so if you focus on line 3 we use the formatted uh, printing uh, print uh, print and we define exactly how the key value pairs from the dictionary that are we, that we are taking out using the for loop should be printed uh and then we save the dictionary on line 5 and uh, on line 8 we print, uh, you know you uh, do the print uh, we run this uh custom function that we just defined the me- this method is providing us flexibility and customization that in incl- uh, uh, that we can use plus we can add additional logic within the function to even make it more customized to our requirements uh, uh, again um, so then now we can run this uh, piece of code and see what the output would be and we see a much much cleaner look than either of either of the two previous methods so preferentially if you are working on a longer project uh, i would recommend you defining a pretty print function on the side according to your your needs but if uh, uh, if uh, either of the other two methods and their output uh, works for you go for it uh, all of these methods basically uh, are uh or achieve the same goal of pretty printing but they offer different approaches uh to do to do that to uh, do to that in python so choose the method that best fits your requirement uh, and with that we're going to wrap this video this video george would you would you like to add anything at the end uh no uh, i think you covered everything um you know please comment in the comment section if you guys have any other questions thanks guys